Welcome back. So I'm excited to look at all the ideas that you have of words that could become a word of the year for yourself or one of your classmates. Um, I'm gonna show you now that uh, you're gonna kind of consider some other people's words that they've brainstormed. So there's two different lists. This list is more in an artsy form, right? They're kind of made word art. Uh, so you can look through all the possibilities in here. There's tons of them. I love the word brave right now that kind of pops out at me and gratitude does as well. Um, I've talked about balance in my own. What's kind of cool is that when you pick a word, a lot of other words kind of go with it, right? Kind of connect. So that's kind of cool. Um, here's a list of words that might be easier to look through. And some just depends on which you would like to do. You can look at both of them. And once you really kind of look through them and think about the words that you, you like, you're going to choose six of them. So pick, pick six possible words that you could use as your word of the year. Um, I know, I'm sure you've noticed by now that up is the theme for this lesson. I really like that movie, but it also kind of is fitting for picking goals because I, each of the characters did have um, things that they needed to work on or goals or something that they wanted to accomplish. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time to pick your words and then I will see you back in just a little bit. 